Hello kiddos. Today we'll be looking at a cathode ray tube. This is the apparatus that J.J. Thompson used when he discovered the first subatomic particle. It's a pretty simple apparatus. It's a vacuum tube. So we have a glass tube and all of the air has been sucked out of it. It literally is a vacuum tube. When an electric current is applied to this tube, there's a beam of light that emanates from the cathode, thus the name cathode ray tube and J.J. experimented with these rays and he found that they were either deflected or attracted by a magnetic field. Let's take a look. Here's a small magnet and when I bring it close to the cathode ray you can see that one end of the magnet actually attracts those rays and then when I turn the magnet over the other end will actually repel those rays. Turns out that the end that's repelling, this right here, is the the, the negative pole of the magnet and of course like charges repel so he determined that the charge of those rays uh, were negative, carried a negative charge. He also found that these particles had a mass. He did a charge to mass ratio and calculated the approximate mass of these particles and he found that they were approximately 2,000 times smaller than a hydrogen atom which is quite profound because the hydrogen atom is the smallest atom. And if we've just found a particle about 2,000 times smaller than a hydrogen atom, the smallest atom, we've just discovered our first subatomic particle. And of course this became known as the electron. Thank you.